Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And welcome to Torigoth. You've arrived in Torgoth, Gormoth's largest settlement, so now is a good time to talk about developing towns. Towns in Allrest are rated according to the level of their development. This is called their development level, or dev level for short. A town's development level can be raised by earning dev points. When a town's dev level goes up, then you can expect the price of goods and shops to go down. Some shops might even expand their ranges and sell never before seen products. You can earn dev points by completing quests and resolving residents' difficulties. It's also possible to earn a few dev points by just talking to people that you meet. You can get, view the dev level of a town anytime you go shopping, and also by going to main menu skip travel. As a public spirited citizen of Allrest, you should do all you can to raise the dev level of its settlements. I don't want to stop and listen to music quite yet, but I just gotta say, this song is the most Chrono Cross thing I have ever heard, including Chrono Cross. These posters! Uh, thank you for presenting them, Pyra, like a game show co host. These have some writing on the top and the bottom. This language doesn't seem to have any sort of official name. I tried digging for any name that the fandom was referring to it as, and all I could find was a couple of forum posts where people were dubbing it Allrestian. For that reason, I'd like to call it that as well because that's a name that I'd like to see catch on. I've seen Allrest script as well as people just calling it Allrest language. I think Allrestian makes the most sense. Now, Allrestian is hard to decipher. The art book that has the cipher in it was only released in Japan. Ours doesn't have it. So that means that it translates from Alrestian to Japanese written out in English characters to Japanese to English. I'll show you on screen right now what these wanted posters actually say because it's quite a journey to get them to yourself. These translations come courtesy of Pyra. No, not you. Pyra. Clever username. I like that a lot. Oh, and making it even harder to translate yourself? No punctuation or spaces, so you have to figure out where words and thoughts begin and end by yourself within another language. It's a lengthy, lengthy process. I will be showing you every instance of Alrestian translated into English, starting with this. Other translations you'll be seeing come from Hypertease.net and Xenomira. Both fantastic fan sites have loads of information about the Xeno series. Moving right along, there's all sorts of shops here in uh, Torigoth. This crowd, however, uh, will be spotted if we go this way. Better find another way. By who, I wonder? The military is already right here. The Ardanian Empire is always eager for new recruits. How about it, kids? Ever thought of becoming the driver? What? You're already drivers? Even better! We can get you on the road immediately! Our drivers aren't expected to be bound to any one blade. All you need is a core crystal, and you can have a whole bevy of blades. See the useful information I divulged? It would be rude to turn down me offer now, surely. My impression was kind of good at the beginning, though, but then I just lost it somewhere along the way. Have you been shopping yet? If you make it to a new town, be sure to check out what the local merchants have to offer. There's a good chance they'll have a few new products that were previously unavailable to you. You might even want to use skip travel to head to Argentum and see how the goods here compared to the ones there. There's all sorts of things here. We have a salvaging shop, which sells normal and silver cylinders. Nothing new there. The central exchange wants items that we don't have any. These are salvaging items found in Gormont. Kmalaf artwork. Eh, leave it to them. Huh. The girl on the hill sure sounds familiar, doesn't it? Draws. Like your name. It's very fun to say. I'm gonna buy a wood grain Alphorn. I've taken its advice and gone back to Argentum briefly to buy some more things here from 12 Brothers Sister Pawn. I'm just gonna buy a Twinkle Juice, a Chunky Juice, ew. I'm gonna give this Twinkle Juice to Rex. Having this makes me real happy. And that's in his liked item type. If I go for the wood grain Alphorn. This was my favorite 500 years ago, and let me tell you, Nothing's changed. Aww, that's actually really cute. <laughs> like types, liked items. If an item is a like type, it has its effects multiplied by 1.2 times. If it's their favorite item, then it has its effect multiplied by 1.5 times. In the rare instance where someone's favorite item and favorite category both overlap, then it's multiplicative and becomes a whopping 1.8 times multiplier to what the original effect was. 
This can be very powerful, and even though it's not true for all characters, be mindful of it for some. Some effects can get exceptionally powerful. Going off to the next stores, we have the blacksmith right here. Several different core chips for sale, all of them inferior to what Pyra has. But we can get a wing chip for Dromark here, and that's actually superior. I believe that there's a treasure chest in the lower level that gives this as well, so you could have had this at this point, I just didn't. 34 auto attack. On to accessories, we've already seen this, already seen that. Increases aggro reduction by 20%. This does not mean that universally you take less aggro. This means that Rex's rolling smash having an aggro down effect on it, that uh, will reduce the aggro by more. Knop on mask increases aggro every second at a, at a small level. Uh, an axe attachment increases the attack power of great axe weapons. Uh, the lance does the same for mega lances. Haven't seen those yet, so thanks for the spoilers, lady. That's all the important things we can do in the fashion districts and food courts. So now we go through this back alley as it's the only place we can go without being noticed or something. This whole thing with core crystals, touching them to create blades. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. We blades start out formless, anchored to the world only by our core crystal. Only the touch of a potential can imbue us with form and being. And it is by those forms we come to be known. So you see, my boy, in some ways it is only the fated touch of a driver that allows the blades to exist at all. Wow. Why does it happen that way, though? Now, that is something no one knows. It's just how it's always been. Blades come in all shapes and sizes. Some human-shaped. Some not. Some people say the shape depends on the kind of person the driver is. The resonance between blade and driver is a mysterious thing. Pyra, she was crying when I met her. Was she brought to life by someone once? Just like a normal blade? What is the Aegis, really? Halt! Nobody move! Oh dear. Looks like Imperial troops. Great. Hey, what's going on? That fugitive in your company is an enemy of the state, a member of Torna. Nia? A member of Torna? It's her, all right. Gormotti Driver. White beast form blade. She looks exactly like the wanted poster. What wanted poster? See for yourself. Wow, it really does. Oi, watch it. Uh, I mean, no way. This doesn't look anything like. Wait, we've got no time for this. Who cares if it looks just like her? <laughs> hmm. Now, as for you, you look like. A driver two. Registration number? Five, three, nine? Knock it off, you fool. All new drivers must register with Endor. No number means you must be an illegal, unregistered driver. No, you don't get it. You're coming with me. We'll see what the console has to say about this. Rex. Dromak and I are gonna make a move. Get ready to run. We're not leaving without you. This is our problem, not yours. I'm pretty sure he wants to arrest all of us. So this is my problem too. Sheesh, you're a stubborn one in you. Gramp says the same thing. Okay, we go on three. We'll go left, you go right. Okay. Just give the word. Okay, let's do this. You, you, you're going to resist? Seriously? One, two... All, all right, men. We've got them outnumbered. Move in and take them down. Three! Let's show them a thing or three. Right. It's time Let's for me go. to tell you about memes. I mean, cancel attacks. If you execute an art at the precise moment that an auto-attack connects, a ring of light will appear around you. We've been through this already. 
If we can cancel an uh, auto attack into an art, we'll get more damage the later in the combo, then we'll get uh, more damage out of it. Also, the recharge gauge will fill up faster afterwards. You can really get an advantage from using cancel attacks. This is talking about getting the special gauge up. Try to execute it on your third blow, get the most bang for your buck. Let's take out Podrag first. This guy, I think everyone loves him. I just, his accent is very memorable. You're done! He, I love this man so much. We'll go ahead and attack him. Uh, I just want to take him down quickly. I'm not really worried about his side soldiers. They're not really that tough. All of their attacks are either fire-based or physical-based. They're smacking you, they're firing their guns at you. You understand. Let's go for the fire. AoE with level two. Do a lot of damage to all of them at once. Those Ardanian soldiers were already taken down by half from that fight. Uh, oh, uh, low battery. Uh, it was at half when I started, but this recording has been going for an hour and a half because of this game. Sure. Uh, never got a chance to use the special. That was it. They're so strong. Such strength from a measly two fighters. Their drivers are right. Rex, no! You got it. A wall made of fire. Such a commotion. Just when I thought I could enjoy a little peace and quiet. Oh, lady, Bridget. Bridget? Is she a blade? Where, where's her driver? My driver is otherwise engaged at present. I am here alone. No driver? <laughs> Lady Bridget is the jewel of Morrissey, the strongest blade in the Empire. Even alone, she's more than a match for you. Lady Bridget, these miscreants are terrorists working for Torna. Please lend me your power to bring them to justice. Hmm. That Emerald Core Crystal. Could it really be true? Well, well. Captain Padre, you are not to kill them. Take these ones in alive. Roger. Men, bring the Uno water! All terrorists? Only two of us are! Nia yeah, said watch it. I will listen if I value my, uh... In between legs. Okay, Captain Podrag is back for a second round. We're gonna take him out first once again. We're gonna do an anchor shot right away. We're gonna build up some specials, hopefully get some AoE attacks so that we can wear down Bridget while taking him down just as we did before. You may have gotten the gist for yourself already, but let me go into a little more detail on blade combos. The indicator the arrow is pointing at right now represents a combo request from the blade currently engaged by the character you're controlling. This is displayed when one of your currently engaged blade specials would be able to initiate a blade combo. And also when one of the blade specials would be able to extend a blade combo that's currently in progress. Blade combos can have massive impact on the battlefield, so try not to miss these opportunities. That one's actually a fairly inoffensive tutorial. I like that. Blade combos were something that I struggled to get the hang of at first, and I remember that one actually being a pretty helpful tutorial for me. Uh, we'll switch target over to Bridget, and we'll do our level two special right here. Boom! Nia changed target along with us, nice and easy as well. I'll switch back over to Podrag and finish him off. By just tapping R, you automatically target the enemy closest to you. No need to scroll through a list or anything like that. It's pretty, pretty simple. Auto attack should finish it up. If I did not have the rexterity, then it should uh, hit him. Jeez! Do a steam bomb, please. Extend that timer so that we can get a level three blade combo going pretty soon. Bridget is a fire elemental, so she is weak to water. Follows common logic. We can see that at the top of the screen once again. Got our nice big gold threads going. We have maximum affinity between our party. Let's do it. One more attack, and we should be able to do a level three blade combo with a break. Go! You see how flashy these blade combo finishes are? Because this is all set in stone, this makes us invincible for the duration of the special and she was in the middle of doing something powerful right there. Can be a good thing to know in a pinch. Yeah! What? She, she repelled our attack. She's so strong. Mm. And this is without a driver. Stop yammering! Just get it! 
when you can't draw ether from the atmosphere. Even blades have weaknesses. This is one such weakness. Without the flow of ether, blades are quite useless. Nia, draw mark! Get out of here, Rex! Save yourself! I'm not gonna do that. I can't just leave you here. You've got your own mission, just move it! Yeah, but... No bets, go! Rex, we must withdraw for now. It's our only chance. But... You won't escape. Ah! Ah! Rex! Ah! Damn it! Huh? Ah! Water! Nug! Despite all this water. So, the legends of the ages were real. Hey! Hey! This way! Friends! Come this way! Tora help you escape! Who are you? Quick! No time for explain! Thanks. You saved us. But I gotta ask, why? No reason. No reason? Sorry, that not true. Truth is, Tora not like those big bully soldiers. Was thinking to test out shiny new boom biter on big bullies. That's when Tora see friends running from them. Boom biter missed and hit water pipe. But results not so bad, hey? Oh. So you shot the pipe. That right. And you're Tora. I'm Rex. And this is Pyra. It's so lovely to meet you. Good to meeting. <laughs> huh? Oh, actually, Tora have other reason for save you. Which is? Don't worry. Explain everything when get to House of Tora. This way. The boy and his blade, who seemed to be working with them, got away. But we apprehended the girl from the wanted poster along with her blade. The town is once again safe for... Say, Podrick, do you remember what my orders were? Sir? I told you to capture the blade with the Emerald Core Crystal, did I not? Do you recall me ever telling you to capture some little girl with barely a bounty on her head. But, sir, she's a member of Torna. I'll say it slowly for you, just so we're clear. Get the blade with the emerald. Um, Consul Doodle, sir. What? I'm not exactly sure what color emerald is supposed to be. Me strength! It's green, you idiot! Emerald is green! Like this! Green! Get it, ya clod? Oh, green! I get it now! So, emeralds are green. <laughs> you dunderhead! How many blades do you see with green core crystals? It's patently obvious! How do you mix that blade up with some worthless cat monster? Actually, sir, technically, I believe that's a tiger, rather than a... Silence! Ah. Consul! What is it? Haven't you heard of knocking? My apologies, sir. 
It's just that Lady Morag has... What? Special Inquisitor Morag has just arrived from the Motherland. Already? Her ship has just docked. Uh, this... this cannot be happening! 